All eyes will be on Jared Shoemaker right there in the red in the middle of the field here in Monterey for the men's event. 65 plus men, and it is gonna be a very tightly, that is uh, Silva just going off early right there. So the Portuguese athlete will definitely be penalized when he gets into the transition zone. And this field is gonna be very aggressive. It is only three and a half feet deep by 20 meters wide. The cement canal here in Monterey, it's really more of a tourist attraction for boats to take you up and down. But today it's the triathletes of the world. And the young Portuguese athlete Silva right now leading this group of 65 plus men. It's up onto the pontoon at 375 meters and then 1,000 plus meters to get to the far end of the canal before they'll finish the 1,500 meter swim. Cameron Dye will be into that group as well. Maja right there from Mexico. And as Collins from the United States heading back in, Brian Fleischman as well. So the U.S. team very largely stocked and some quality swimmers into this group as well. The Canadian athlete, McCartney, starting to take it out now in the last stages of this 1,500 meter swim. Phil Graves, the great British athlete in that top 10 as well. There's McCartney, he'll win another swim prem as he did in high V, Maja from Mexico, there's Collins, one of the top five into the transition zone. We've got some very strong cyclists getting ready to head out. And it looks like we might have a group of seven or eight that could get away. There's Cameron Dye from the United States. That's the penalty right there that Silva is having to serve. 15 seconds, Marques from Portugal just going out. One of the German athletes. In fact, we have two German athletes. It'll be two Portuguese athletes, three Americans and one Canadian. And right there, that group of two US athletes and the young Canadian in McCartney trying to get away, but they've got five other athletes just about five seconds back and it's only a matter of time till that group of eight will be together. There they are, eight of them now will all be together as they go through the first 10 kilometers of this 40 kilometer, very technical race course. In fact, the course is used for Formula One racing. And there we are, the group of eight back in the chase pack about 40 seconds down, Charbot. Seth wheeling into that group. Butterfield into the chase group. There's Shabbat right there just coming through. As well, one of the talented Brazilians, Colucci. And at the end of 40 kilometers, the group of seven, they in fact dropped McCartney. You can see the chase group just in the far backdrop. They'll be about 38 to 40 seconds down. It'll be three US athletes, two Portuguese, two Germans heading out. So three countries dominating the first two thirds of this race. We'll see who has the running leg. Certainly Silva has been known, that 20 year old right there, as he gets ready to head out. The Germans will have Portuguese athletes on either side of them. And as they go through the first 500 meters, the chase group of athletes now just starting to come off the bike and some very talented runners coming off in the chase group as well. Look at the beautiful running form of Silva, just 20 years of age. Here they come, Charbot into that bunch. Butterfield coming off as well. Colucci into that group of runners coming off. Andrew Russell from Canada, and as they go right now, it'll be the likes of about 18 or 19 very talented runners. The only guy not in the chase pack of significance, Jared Shoemaker, two and a half minutes down in chase pack number two, and they are all going after Silva. He looks absolutely fantastic. The man who's trained for the last couple of years with Vanessa Fernandez, so you know that he's well coached. There's Charbot. Manny Horta behind him. Charbot right now trying to take on the fluid, trying to get away. That's Buchholz right there from Germany coming up. He is moving very well. Buchholz, a former 23 and under world champion, is making his move in the late stages of this run. Charbot is trying to hang on right now for second. They're all going after Silva. This guy has had a top 10 race in Sydney just a few weeks ago, but it'll be Silva with his first ever men's world cup win silva from portugal will claim the victory here in monterey what a great run after a false start in the swim he gets the job done on the bike and run charbot looking over his shoulder but Buchholz will run out of steam charbot from the united states will claim silver what a great start to 2010 for matt Buchholz will take third and seth wheeling from the united states comes across in fourth but the day belongs to Silva as a man who fall started in the swim, got the job done on the bike and run. I have a, a false start in the swim. Uh, I was a, a bit nervous, but uh, in the bike, I, I, could, I, just, I just couldn't help the, the guys uh, in front. Uh, like, I, I, I was really a bad, a bad, uh, bad friend today to them, but uh, in the run I, I felt good and uh, I, I did a good run.